What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Wednesday, March 8th slate of games. Before we get into our picks tonight, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video down below. Welcome to the Bear Pack, the best community on YouTube. Speaking of the best community on YouTube, the Bear Pack, Thrive Fantasy, our new partner. If you go to Thrive Fantasy right now and use promo code Bear Pack on your first deposit, you will receive a 100% match bonus up to $100. Go get your free money today when you deposit on Thrive Fantasy using promo code Bear Pack. The free play on Thrive for Wednesday is Kawhi Leonard over half a point for new users. Also, Thrive has a new March Madness bracket challenge. The first place in the tournament will receive two tickets to the final four games. Must be a Thrive Fantasy user to join. So go get yourself signed up on that. All right, let's look at our team from this week while Trey's pulling that up. The Honeypot, Stephen Curry over 26 and a half points for day one caches. Day two will be in the community tab on our YouTube channel. Go vote on your favorite player prop tomorrow morning. All right, let's look at these teams. We have some games going still, some games not going. Uh, my team, two and three start, not too bad. Your coach gets a win. Cam Johnson failed us. He had two threes, shot two of six, I believe, on threes. Draymond Green had one rebound. Are you kidding me, Draymond? One rebound, 11 assists. He did not cash either. Jordan Clarkson did not play. We will have a coin flip for Jay Bird. Markel Fultz did not hit his over 10.5 rebounds and assists. I think he ended with five. And then Mikael Bridges down the stretch. Whoa, he went off. 30 points for him. But let's look at Trey's team. Yes, I mean, shout out Job Betancourt, you know, with Taylor, the hottest guy on the player prop market, mm -hmm. which is me. I gave out the Mikel Bridges pick. Shout out. Shout out that. But my team did not really show up to play today. Uh, Nikhil Aurora, you said that you were going to deliver a winner on day one, another loss day one. But Rito DeCito, Seahawk, question mark, Kyle Anderson, over 10 and a half points. Slow-mo, I love slow-mo, but he did not get it done today. And the Sanchi landscape design, Ty, Ty Jones is still going right now. We're hoping that hits. Deep down, I'm hoping it does not hit just because I'm a Lakers fan and I need the Lakers to win. And then Bill Rush, he gave out Clay under. I love giving out under, so it was nice to see that hit for him. And then Desmond Bain, another guy that's playing that I secretly hope does not hit because my Lakers need this win. But if they do hit, it'll be good for my squad. But on to Tita's team. Yeah, Rito DeCito was not, did not put anything in the comments, so I went with Seahawk there if he was the emergency play for your team. But Tietz, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, so as you can see, we've got some players still playing. I've got the double Tyus Jones, Anthony Davis I'm waiting on. Anthony Davis has been going off. He already had a double-double at the end of the first quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, bloodied up his nose, thought his entire career was done. He is back, though, so we'll see how that game ends. Uh, Michael Hines, SGA, over 30 and a half, cashed that. That was a solid pick. And uh, E-Money photo, what happened here? Yeah, e money, e money did not comment. So I went with my guy from week one and week two, went 5 0. Silveru, uh, he hit for you, uh, Mitchell Robinson, as a reserve for you. But we will have a couple coin flips here. Um, we're going to start with my coin flip and then Trey. And then Teets has a coin flip as well because Giannis obviously did not go tonight. So yeah. uh, let's do my coin flip real quick. I'm going to call uh, heads. All right. Well, I can't do anything right. Here we go. Teets, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll call I'll call it on the flip. Yeah. Heads. Oh. Wow, brutal. Brutal for me. Teets gets another win. 3-0 and for Teets' team right now. now. Let's look at our picks from last night, guys. Trey, I'll have you start us off. Yes, I had Mikel Bridges over on his points, like I said earlier, and it cashed. Had me sweating there for a minute just because it was a blowout, and he was sitting at 23 points. We had 23 and a half. And they were blowing out the Rockets. So I was like, please just don't bench him or Rockets. At least, you know, start playing basketball. Regardless, he hit. He finished with 30, 2-0 on my last two games. I'm looking forward to going 3-0 for you guys. No Hulk Hogan? Oh, you guys better watch out, brother, because I'm coming to the top of the rope and dropping the hammer down. That's what I wanted to ask for. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. I had uh, Terry Rozier over 21 and a half points against the Knicks. He had 21 entering the fourth quarter. He made a bucket to tie the game at 100 with about three minutes left in the game to get his over points. He gave me a bit of a scare there, but uh, he got it done on two tonight for me. Teets? Uh, I had Giannis over one minute played, and I, it didn't hit. Oh, wait, that's not that's that's right. That's right. I had him over 30 and a half points, did not play. Yeah, but we're moving on to tonight. 2-0 night, 4-0 in the last two nights, but let's move on to our picks tonight. Trey, start us off. 
Yeah, I'm going to be attacking an under, and I'm going to go with the Donovan Mitchell under 26 and a half points. I'll I'll preface this by saying I absolutely love Donovan Mitchell. He's a great basketball player. He's electrifying to watch, and he can put the ball in the hoop, as we saw him scoring 71 points earlier this season. And if he scores 71 against the Heat, then I'll just be eating my words here. But he has struggled against the Heat this season. He's played them twice, averaging 14 and a half points per game on 37.9% shooting while still playing a whopping 32 minutes per game. So he's still out there on the floor. And I love fading players that are playing the Miami Heat. I gave out Trey Young under points last month against the Heat, and it cashed pretty easily because the trends were there. And the trends are here for this pick, too. And this is going to be the slowest-paced game on tomorrow's slate. I think if you guys love scoring points, you might want to not turn this game on. The Cavs play at the slowest pace in the NBA this season with 96.14 possessions per game. And the Heat are just behind them, the third slowest paced team in the NBA at 96.92 possessions per game. Combine the slow pace with the Heat, with them being one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. I love this line for Donovan Mitchell's under. And here are just a few defensive rankings for Miami. They allow the second fewest points per game with 109 per game. The first fewest offensive rebounds per game with only 8.7 per game. The second fewest field goals allowed per game, only allowing 39 field goals made per game. That's that's not very much because there's four quarters, 39. They're only allowing four field goals made per quarter. So I love that. And they also force the third most turnovers per game with over 15 per game. Feisty defense. They don't allow you to score very many points. I love this play. And it just goes to show that even though Donovan Mitchell is an elite scorer, He may not have very many opportunities, and whenever he does get those opportunities, it's going to be hard for them to cash those in. So give me the under on this massive 26.5 point line. Let's make it three days in a row in the fade crowd. I'm still coming for you. Yeah, Trey, this was not planned, uh, but someone has to score for the Cavs. So for my play tonight, I'm going with Evan Mobley over 26.5 PRAs versus the Heat. We saw what Clint Capella was able to do offensively against Bam down low. Now we have a good scoring big tonight to take in Mobley. In Evan Mobley's career, he has played five games against the Heat. He is averaging 15.8 points and nine rebounds in those five games. In his last three games, he has scored 15-plus points in all three games and seven-plus rebounds as well in all three games. He has gone over this projected line in four of the five games and in three straight versus the Heat. And I'm going with assists as well in this game instead of just the points and rebounds because he is averaging four assists per game against the Heat in his career. It's only a two-point bump from his PR 24.5 to his PR 8 26.5, so I will take that and run with it. If he gets three assists in this game, we found some value, so that's good for us. Mobley has been on a tear in his last three games, scoring 18 points per game and collecting 14 rebounds per game. He's playing like a vet already, and he should eat just like Clint Capella did the last two games against the Heat. Give me Mobley over 26.5 PRAs tonight. Teets? I am taking my boy Jason Tatum over 28 and a half points versus Portland Trailblazers. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, he's been struggling a little bit since the All-Star break, uh, but he does have two 40-point games in the last five matchups he has played. Um, Specifically, let's look head-to-head against Portland. He has scored 27, 31, 33, 32, 34, and 36 in his last six games. So other than his most previous game playing against Portland, he has scored 30-plus in every game. Uh, I think that what's going to happen, this is kind of just like my projection, is that Tatum and Dame are going to just be trading baskets down the down the stretch. Uh, both both players love to try to take over. And the nice thing with the Celtics, Jalen Brown can definitely heat up and he can definitely help uh, alleviate some of the pressure of scoring. And honestly, Malcolm Brogdon off the bench has been great. Derek White's been great. But Jason Tatum, he's got that Kobe in him. He's got that Black Mamba. You know, he is going to want to take over this game, especially if Damian Lillard is cooking like he typically does. If Dame ends up with 40-45, I wouldn't be surprised if Tatum, he may not end with 40-45, but he will take enough shots that he should have hit 40-45. to uh, You know, he historically does pretty well against Portland, even though Boston doesn't. It just kind of makes sense for a recipe for success in this sense. That was a lot of sense. Either way, Jason Tatum over 28 and a half points. I would honestly take him up to the typical 30 and a half points. It's really interesting why they have it under 30. Um, and I think that's a cash it right there. All right, guys, that'll do it for our NBA player props for Wednesday, March 8th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. 
on our website, bearsprofitplays.com. You can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.